top inventions. The behind the scenes tales of hit products and creations from Japan. This is Japan's Top Inventions. This time, we take a ride on the bullet train, the Shinkansen. It has a top speed of over 300 kilometers an hour and was the world's first to earn the moniker High Speed Rail. Connecting Tokyo to the rest of the country, it has transported over 10 billion passengers since going into operation. Hundreds of trains travel every day, yet the average delay per train is a mere 24 seconds. And this train you could set your watch to is taking the world by storm. This orange-striped high-speed train runs along the west coast of Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah. And this one connects London with the rest of the UK. It, too, uses Japanese technology. Before, it used to take me around an hour and a half to go to, to London. Now it takes me 37 minutes. The Shinkansen was born in 1960s Japan from the minds of engineers who dared take on the challenge of building the world's fastest train. This is a railway museum in Saitama near Tokyo. This museum contains a train that has gone down in history, the world's first Shinkansen. It was created in 1964. This train, which set a world speed record, marked the pinnacle of Japanese railway engineering of the period. Our story begins in the 1950s. At the time, Japan's population was concentrated in cities like Tokyo and Osaka. Railway capacity was being pushed to the limit. Commercial aviation was taking off. Automobile ownership was accelerating and highways were emerging. It was a time of change for transportation in Japan. The railways were afraid they wouldn't be able to keep up. More travelers might start using highways and airplanes instead of trains, and the railways would see serious decline. In order to reverse this decline, the Shinkansen project was born. It brought together a dream team of railway technologists, state railway companies, and private sector manufacturers. The goal bring the trip from Tokyo to Osaka down from 6.5 to 3 hours and achieve speeds of 200 kilometers per hour. The man given the task of creating the all-important train cars was railway engineer Taranao Miki. During the war, Miki had designed planes used for combat. Miki's eldest daughter, Naoko, explains why her father was drawn to railroads after the war. He was on the airplane staff at the Naval Air Technical Arsenal. He designed a plane called the Oka, which was used for suicide attacks. He felt he was responsible for letting the young men of Japan die one after another. He said, I've had enough of war. If I design automobiles, they might be used as tanks. If I design planes, they could be used as fighters or bombs. But the rail industry is an industry of peace. With his team, 
Miki began to consider design ideas for the shape of the high-speed train. They determined the key was in making the car more aerodynamic. Shinichi Tanaka worked under Miki as an engineer on the project. He says Miki had a favorite saying during the design process. He said, it's got to look good. A sleek, good-looking design is always more aerodynamic, he said. If the design is beautiful, the air will whip on by. That was his mantra. Tanaka molded several designs out of clay and had Miki take a look. But try as he might, he couldn't get the thumbs up from his boss. Day after day, he went back to the drawing board. After finally receiving the OK on some potential designs, the team performed a series of wind tunnel tests. They created a one-tenth scale model out of wood and relentlessly blasted it with a wind machine. The design that emerged the winner had a sleek, aerodynamic look inspired by airplanes. The nose stuck out in a distinctive circular shape. The bottom is a bit different than a plane, though. Unlike planes, the Shinkansen runs on the ground, so it needed a bib down here to keep the airflow away from its undercarriage. It was quite an innovative design for its time. Top inventions. There was one more key to unlocking the 200 km per hour speed. The undercarriage on which the train car rides. The engineer in charge of this undercarriage was Masahiko Ishizawa. He began by investigating whether any design up to then could even support the speed. At the time, Japan's fastest train ran at 110 kilometers an hour. We didn't even know what would happen if we pushed that to 200. Would it cause the rails or the wheels to dissolve? No one had any idea. Tests revealed a shocking result. When the speed was gradually increased to 200 kilometers per hour, the wheels would slide side to side, oscillating wildly. This phenomenon is known as hunting oscillation, a worst-case scenario could lead to derailment. Ishizawa worked day after day on a way to tame this problem. At last. It came to me at about four in the morning. What if we used rubber? He first added metal support plates to the front and rear of the axles, which helped reduce the oscillation along the horizontal axis. Then, on the connectors between the car and the support plates, he added synthetic rubber. This idea, rare for trains at the time, created a buffer and stopped vertical oscillation as well. With this final piece of the puzzle in place, the 200 kilometer an hour train was ready to be built. Top Inventions. March 30th, 1963. On this length of test rail, the trial run of the Shinkansen was about to begin. The engineers behind the project climbed aboard. That included car engineer Tanaka on board to collect oscillation and other data. The test begins. The train begins to pick up speed.
After roughly 30 minutes, the train hits the 200 km per hour mark. But Tanaka notices something out of the ordinary. It's hunting oscillation. The engineers are shocked. We began to feel a strange vibration. We all realized we were in some serious danger. It was tense. It was frightening just to look. Tanaka watches his instruments with bated breath. Will this be the end of the test? But the oscillation settles down. The undercarriage design is working. Eventually, the team's sleek aerodynamic train hits a speed of 256 kilometers per hour, a new record. The Shinkansen, the world's fastest train, is born. Hiroyuki Kirimura served as conductor during the record-setting run. He still clearly remembers the moment it set the record. Imagine this is an electric pole. I'm looking at them from my seat, and they're just flying by faster and faster. I look down, and the stones on the track are whizzing by too. What a feeling of speed. And my seat is shaking too. Just so fast. <laughs> the Shinkansen opened to the public the next year, 1964. The trip from Tokyo to Osaka was reduced from over six and a half hours to just three hours, 10 minutes. And the Shinkansen, the world's first high-speed train, became, alongside airplanes and automobiles, an essential part of Japan's transportation network. Top Inventions. From the 1970s onward, Shinkansen routes expanded, connecting almost all of Japan. But the northern Tohoku region posed a major challenge, snow. It was impossible to get to 200 kilometers per hour in the winter when snow covered the tracks. Enter a new top invention, this green snowplow. It was designed to force the snow off the tracks. Here it is in action. Not only does it plow the snow, it does it in a narrow area so it won't disrupt oncoming trains. The design of the lead car has also become sleeker over the years. Newer designs are longer and flatter for even greater speed. The latest model is roughly double as aerodynamic as the 1960s version. This evolution has been thanks in large part to expert sheet metal craftsmen. Believe it or not, Every piece of aluminum sheet metal used for the lead car is pounded out by hand before being welded on to create the train's sleek form. Craftsman Jiro Kunimura has been working on Shinkansen trains since the very first model. The Shinkansen is Japan's main train, you could say. It's used by so many passengers. I want to build a train face that makes them happy to ride. 